while doing media fill in a aseptic processing a question arises that whether we should perform video recording of media fill or not or whether we should retain the records and if yes till what time and what are the guidelines we suggest about the media fill recording so let's try to understand this topic first of all aseptic operation is very critical very crucial and while doing the media fill it's very very important that we know what we are doing and practically the media fill protocol should be written much detail well written protocol should be available with us and a combination of manufacturing record and media fill protocol or media fill protocol itself can contain all the information which is necessary for the manufacturing as well as the execution and it should it should also include all the detailed assembling process all the interventions listed therein and how many times we are supposed to perform this intervention so this this covers the documentation part of the media field how we should perform media field and how we should record the media field as a document now coming to the video recording <coughs> and coming to the guidance requirement practically guidance does not mandate any guidance is not mandating the recording of the media fields but fda's guidance for industry september 2004 for aseptic manufacturing sterile manufacturing states that video recording of media field helps as a aid a important aid in identifying the personal practices that could negatively impact aseptic process so it does tell that if you are recording the videos of media fail then it helps as a useful aid to understand the personal practices that can negatively impact the media fail operation or may negatively impact the aseptic process so in that way the video of media fail helps to understand if we have problem if we have some problem in media fail if we have some growth or positive containers after the incubation period and we are going to investigate and if we have that video record available then and if you can pinpoint which exact time which exact location which exact tray it was happened then by reviewing the video you can identify what might have gone wrong during that period what in terms of practice in terms of any other issues in terms of any interventions which was not recorded or missed to record a video will help so that way video recording of media field can be helpful two ways if we have a problem into the media field we can investigate and if the media field is successful then that same exact same video will help you to train the operators frequently or periodically we can train the operators if some new operators are there some new technicians are there and we have to train them then this media field video will be very very helpful for them to understand that how this line works what are the personal practices what are the aseptic interventions what are the aseptic processes are there and how the people are doing it so that it will result in successful outcomes so in that way video will definitely help if we are recording the media field videos now as i discussed there is no mandatory requirement but yes fda guidance for industry for the sterile manufacturing september 2004 definitely mentions that it can be helpful to identify the personal practices that could negatively impact the aseptic process now coming to the till what time we have to retain the videos now it it purely comes to the procedure document retention procedure of the facility i observed that some companies retain the media field videos media field records as a perpetual document they don't destroy it and they keep forever till the site is there some companies have a frequency that after 3 years or 5 years they will destroy the media field record and the videos since the product which was manufactured on that line is expired and we have periodic subsequent media field which are performed and video recorded 
so that becomes a last successful record for that line of media bill so some companies do have the frequencies of destroying the document after three years or five years of course initial the first very first media bill which was done on that line should be retained because it was the establishment of the aseptic processing for that specific line but subsequent media bill. so it it comes to the policies documents details and policies and timelines of the company and not the any requirement from the guideline perspective so i hope this small video will help you to understand about uh, media field video recording requirement its importance and till what time we have to retain it if you like my channel pharma when you can subscribe and you can share to your friends so that it will help to reach more and more people and help me to share knowledge Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my full video.